Fake socialite Anna Vadimovna Sorokina is a young individual hailing from Russia. In 2013, she boldly decided to relocate to the bustling streets of New York City. There, she embarked on a journey of self-reinvention, crafting a captivating persona under the name of Anna Delvey. In 2016, she made her grand entrance onto the New York City party scene, assuming the persona of a wealthy German heiress. She captured the hearts of everyone instantly. But as her bills began to accumulate, her facade crumbled. In 2019, a jury found her guilty of deceiving nearly everyone she was acquainted with. A judge accused her of running a large-scale scam. Nevertheless, even as she went to prison, she remained steadfast in her account. Anna Sorokina made her way to New York City in 2016, driven by a desire to seamlessly integrate herself into the exclusive social circles of the city's elite. With a grandiose background and a seemingly bottomless bank account, Sorokina assumed the Anna Delvey identity and immersed herself in the world of high-end clubs, restaurants, and events. Sorokina portrayed herself as a glamorous socialite, proudly displaying her high-end fashion collection, indulging in lavish accommodations, and savoring exquisite meals at exclusive venues. She swiftly established herself as a well-known figure within New York's elite circles, cultivating relationships with prominent figures in art, fashion, and finance. Sorokina pursued many business ventures and investment opportunities to enhance her reputation as a thriving entrepreneur. She boasted about her grand plans for a multi-million dollar arts club in Manhattan called the Anna Delvey Foundation. She said it would serve as a vibrant hub for emerging artists and creatives. Sorokina managed to win over the confidence of affluent acquaintances and prospective investors by offering them enticing returns on their investments in her ventures. Through her extensive network and captivating charm, she effortlessly persuaded others to support her lavish way of life and ambitious ventures generously. As Sorokina's schemes became increasingly intricate, discrepancies in her narrative and conduct emerged. As she crossed paths with more individuals, doubts about her origins and financial standing began to arise. This led to inquiries about her true identity and the nature of her undertakings. In 2017, Sorokina found herself in a rather unfortunate situation. She was arrested and faced multiple counts of fraud, theft of services, and grand larceny. Authorities discovered compelling evidence of her deceitful actions, which included fabricating bank bank statements, forging documents, and neglecting to pay bills amounting to hundreds of thousands of dollars. In 2019, Sorokina's trial became the center of attention for the media, captivating many with the boldness and complexity of her deceit. Testimonies were given by witnesses who recounted their encounter with Sorokina, revealing a portrait of a cunning fraudster who shamelessly took advantage of the trust and innocence of her victims to benefit herself. In May 2019, Sorokina was convicted of multiple charges concerning her fraudulent schemes. She received a prison sentence of 4 to 12 years and was also required to compensate her victims. This case unfolded as a gripping cautionary tale shedding light on the perils of unbridled privilege and the irresistible allure of wealth and social standing within elite circles. Sorokina cunningly maneuvered her way into the inner circles of New York's high society, effortlessly blending in at exclusive events, parties, and gatherings. She connected with influential individuals, including celebrities, socialites, and business tycoons, by leveraging her charm and charisma to earn their trust and admiration. Sorokina went to great lengths to uphold her image of opulence and extravagance. She frequently indulged in luxurious fashion pieces from renowned brands such as Chanel, Gucci, and Louis Vuitton, proudly showcasing her extravagant acquisitions on popular social media platforms like Instagram. Sorokina's extravagant expenditures only served to solidify her reputation as a wealthy heiress with seemingly boundless resources. Sorokina developed the Anna Delvey Foundation, an arts club and cultural hub in Manhattan to enhance her reputation as a genuine entrepreneur and philanthropist. According to her, the foundation would assist up-and-coming artists and organize exclusive gatherings for the most influential members of New York's creative community. Sorokina sought investments and donations from affluent individuals, presenting it as a means to support the foundation's operations and programs. During her stay in New York City, Sorokina often resided in some of the city's most renowned hotels and residences, such as the Plaza Hotel, Eleven Howard, and the W New York. She accumulated extravagant expenses for lodging, meals, and leisure activities, frequently neglecting to settle them or utilizing deceitful payment methods. 
Sorokina's deceitful actions eventually caught up with her, resulting in severe legal and financial consequences. She found herself entangled in a web of legal battles with hotels, restaurants, and service providers, all seeking payment for bills and debts that remained unpaid. Furthermore, her business ventures faced intense scrutiny as investors and partners raised doubts about the authenticity of her projects and the status of their investments. In October 2017, Sorokina found herself in a rather unfortunate situation when law enforcement authorities took her into custody. The charges against her were serious, involving grand larceny and theft of services. The media was captivated by her arrest as reporters and journalists delved into the intricate web of her deceitful plots, slowly unraveling the mask she had so meticulously crafted. The court proceedings surrounding Sorokina were nothing short of a spectacle, drawing in spectators and onlookers who were utterly captivated by the transformation of a young socialite into a criminal mastermind. Those affected by Sorokina, including investors, business partners, and service providers, experienced substantial financial losses due to her deceitful actions. Many individuals recounted their encounters and feelings toward the media, conveying a sense of anger and disillusionment in light of Sorokina's deception. The case sparked conversations about responsibility, openness, and moral considerations in corporate and personal dealings. Sorokina dedicated a considerable amount of time to cultivating connections and establishing a solid presence in the vibrant social circles of New York City. She frequented high-profile events, fundraisers, and galas, where she mingled with notable figures, influential personalities, and affluent individuals. Sorokina solidified her position as a highly regarded upper-class member through her connections with prominent individuals. Sorokina skillfully utilized her alleged connections in art to establish credibility and wield influence. She boasted about her connections to famous artists, gallery owners, and collectors, presenting herself as a supporter of the arts. Sorokina leveraged her connections in the art world to entice investors and donors to her fabricated foundation, making grand pledges to back up incoming artists and cultural endeavors. Sorokina meticulously crafted her social media persona to exude an era of opulence, allure, and refinement. Her social media feed was filled with stunning photos and videos, giving a glimpse into her luxurious lifestyle, fashionable wardrobe, and exciting adventures. Sorokina's social media accounts were a platform for showcasing her accomplishments and cultivating her brand, drawing in a devoted following enthralled by her seemingly extravagant way of life. During her legal proceedings, Sorokina consistently asserted her innocence and made efforts to mount a defense against the charges leveled against her. She enlisted a group of renowned lawyers to advocate for her in the courtroom and devise a strategy to counter the charges. Sorokina and her legal team publicly refuted any misconduct allegations, presenting her as a misunderstood individual, entangled in a complex web of deception and misunderstanding. The case of Sorokina attracted attention from the media and the public, captivating people globally. Journalists, reporters, and documentary filmmakers were intrigued by the enigma of Anna Delphi, delving into her past and covering her motives and exposing her illicit deeds. The case sparked a flurry of articles, podcasts, and television segments, captivating the public with Sorokina's daring schemes. After being convicted in May 2019, Sorokina was given a prison sentence for her crimes, and her time in prison signaled the conclusion of her era as a phony heiress and socialite, serving as a stark reminder of the repercussions of dishonesty and manipulation. Sorokina's tale ignited a frenzy of fascination among the masses, igniting discussions on influence, entitlement, and the relentless quest for social standing in our contemporary world. Sorokina's story has profoundly influenced popular culture, serving as a source of inspiration for numerous books, films, and television adaptations that have sought to capture the essence of her remarkable exploits. The case ignited conversations surrounding wealth, privilege, and social mobility in today's society, shedding light on the appeal of fame and fortune and the risks associated with unbridled ambition. Sorokina's story is a stark reminder of the dangers of leading a life filled with dishonesty and trickery. It's a powerful lesson about the repercussions that await those who build their lives on a foundation of lies.